Welcome to the video for the Happy Nerding HM VCO. The HM comes from the chip that's used which comes from Hearn Morley and provides very accurate tracking over a wide range. The oscillator features a nice 10 turn pot, PWM, sync, FM and the standard waveform outputs for sine, triangle, square and saw waves. Here's a rundown of the features before we get into some patches. We've got the sine output, triangle out, saw wave output, and square. We've got a PWM input, sync input, FM input with an attenuator and the 1 volt per octave input. We've then got the 10 turn pot which is similar to what you'd find on an EMS VCS3 or a Symphy. And there's a number in this slot on the dial which is trimmed perfectly to be 1 octave at each time this number rises. There's then the tuning lock on the side. Even with this lock there's a slight bit of give which is perfect for fine tuning. Listening to the square wave output I'll start a sequence going and we'll get a baseline going and modulate the pulse width modulation. So here's the LFO from the disting into the pulse width modulation input. Lovely, rich, and thick, familiar detune style sound that PWM gives us. With the pulse width modulation going, let's start the sequence playing. And I'll take this further and take a gate out into the new Happy Nerding envelope and take the sound into my VCA. And then I'm going to use the envelope for basic amplitude modulation on the VCA. I'd usually set a filter up in this type of patch but I'm deliberately not using one as we just wanted to listen to that tone of that oscillator. Here's an arpeggio pattern playing into the oscillator and I've got the oscillator's square output going into a VCA which is currently wide open with no modulation. Here's taking a second oscillator into the sync input and changing its tuning. We get these really nice sync sounds. Let's go through the different waveform outputs, that's being a square, so here's a saw wave. With a nice bright and slightly more metallic edge. There's a sign. And without the sync. And with. Triangle wave. And let's just go back to the saw wave. Now taking down that VCA's level, I'll add some envelope modulation. Here's no sync. And back again. And so as the pitch is changing on the Happy Nerding VCO, we get these tones working against that static tuning of the modulating oscillator's pitch. Looking at the FM on the unit, here's a sine wave and I've got a self-oscillating filter to provide a nice clean sine as a modulation source for the FM. The tuning and the FM depth on the Happy Nerding VCO will affect the tone of the patch. I'll then sweep the pitch of my FM source. Let's turn up that FM depth. So there's a nice bright bell-like sound. Let's take this into a VCA which is next to the oscillator and add some envelope modulation as it's not often that we just listen to an oscillator's output droning away.
I'll then take a pitch sequence into both the Happy Nerd in HM VCO and also to the FM modulation source. Here's changing the modulating source's tuning. And there's an almost bell like kids toy type sound in there. Like any FM patch, spending time tweaking the FM depth, which is the FM index, and the FM ratio, which is the tuning between the source and the modulation, we can lead to more musical or harmonious sounds or more dissonant sounds. So for the final part of the video I wanted to show how this responds to fast envelopes to create some drum and percussion sounds. I've got the oscillator tuned nice and low and we're listening to the sine wave output. Let's turn up the FM depth to create a kick like sound. And depending on that envelope shape we'll get different sounds. We've got a great fat sounding kick but that low tuning's just droning on. So let's get this into the VCA with another envelope to open and close the VCA. So we've got a nice solid kick which is dependent on the depth of that modulation and the envelope shape. A common thing with creating drum sound is to mix in a tiny bit of white or pink noise and using a VCA or filter give that a sharp and short envelope to create some attack in the sound. So you get this short burst of thick harmonic content that we can mix into the more tonal sound. Rather than mixing this in though, I'm going to actually take some white noise and go into a secondary FM source for the oscillator, which is going to be the 1V per octave input. I've got my noise going through an RYO air attenuator first for simple attenuation rather than mixing this with the sound I'm going to actually modulate the oscillator's tuning with the noise as well so let's turn that up so a completely different tone although a bit overbearing so let's attenuate that noise level so you can hear we've got something that's a bit more gritty with a bit more filth and a bit more harmonic content Let's play around and get a bit of a harder kick sound. So the oscillator responds really well to fast and sharp envelopes for creating percussion sounds. So that's it for the HM VCO from Happy Nerding, a great 6 HP oscillator that responds nicely to plenty of different types of modulation. As always, hit like and subscribe for more videos every week and check the Patreon link below to see how you can support my channel.